Good day, everybody. I am Amy with Tulupema Dance, and today I have a little project share. I made a spooky um, Halloween album, and I do like the album a lot. I like the way the album turned out. Um, I like the way the pages turned out. The only thing I have a problem with with this particular album is that I used some paper that I bought at Target in the dollar section years ago and I like the colors and, and whatnot of it but some of the papers are they're, they're very thin and after um, putting everything together and it's sitting for a little while you can see that the paper is really um, ripply and and I don't really like the way that looks so I don't know that I would ever sell this particular book but I certainly would do this album style again and just make sure to use better papers when I do it but what I did with this album was I on the on this front cover here there is a flip to open and it is magnetic I cut out on my Cricut, the spider web and the spider and the filigree. And then on the spider, I don't know if you can tell very well, but I did put Wink Estella on the spider to make it sparkly. And then I just have some sequins um, decorating it. I, I am not a scary Halloween person. I like cute Halloween versus scary Halloween. So it's a little bit out of my box to do this spider in the first place, but my kids can attest to it. Um, on the spine, I just did some orange and black twine, and then I have some green seam binding that I used to decorate. And then the back is just um, paper. When you open it up, you have got three pages in here. Um, on the front, I have a little, a small waterfall, and then behind the waterfall is a mat that pulls out, and this is the mat. This can show you what I mean by, with the paper. If I angle it a little bit, you can see kind of the ripple effect, and if I hold it up, and maybe this way, you can see maybe a little bit about how the, the paper is bubbling there. And there's just really nothing I can do about it. And so I don't like that, but that's that's my fault because I, I used paper that I should have known better um, to use such thin paper for a project like this. Um, anyway, so that's the front page. I did use magnets on these flips. Not sure that I needed them, but um, I, I do like magnets, so I why not use them. On the first page, um, you have I have a tag for journaling, a smaller um, photo mat, and then a larger booklet photo mat. There is a mat on the inside of each page as well. When you turn, you have two flips, so a another kind of waterfall. Next page, tag, smaller photo mat, larger booklet photo mat. Inside photo mat, and then two more um, flips for the back. And then that third page again, another tag, another small, smaller photo mat, and another booklet photo mat. Mat for the inside, and then flips on the back. The back cover is the same as the front with two flips for photos, and then there is also a mat behind the photos and then it closes up nice there's plenty of room um, in there I made sure because there's a lot of room for pictures in here so you always want to make sure that there's enough space um, 
for the pictures to expand. So I, I made it wide enough so that I could you could still close this front flap. Even when you get pictures in there, there's going to be room um, for those pictures. So there is my little spooky Halloween um, photo album, which I really like. And I'm sure that I will do this style again. I, I just need to use better paper. So um, that's something to look at whenever you are making photo albums is try not to use the thinner papers just because they do tend to warp, um, you know, especially if you're going to be moving them around and whatnot. The other thing I wanted to share was I did make these two little just kind of mini um, brag books um, for Halloween and Thanksgiving. They are made out of just a 12 by 12 um, sheet of paper and they are super simple. You know, you close them up and when you open them you have a couple of flips on each side. Oh, you can, I did a very good job there. So, I mean, it's, it's cute. There's plenty of room for pictures, especially if you're just doing um, a few pictures for grandma or grandpa or um, just to have with you. But then I also did one with more of a Thanksgiving theme um, with this pumpkin paper. So I have that one and then that. And I just think it, they turn out really cute. Um, and certainly a simple little booklet to share. I know that maybe Thanksgiving you don't have a whole bunch of pictures that you take, but that would be a cute um, little something to take pictures and, and have as a little brag book. Anyway, so there you go. Um, my, my few little seasonal things that I tried. I'm sure I will be making more of these again. Um, just with probably better paper. Anyway, if you have any questions, let me know down below, and I hope that you guys will join me again next time. Thanks. Bye.